Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. Um, we have a huge Dyson Swarm up here. Let's take a quick look at it. We have more than 8,000, almost 9,000 solar sails in orbit. More than 8,900 now. So, and it's going up because we are shooting like crazy from over here. And yeah, we are spending so many resources on getting this Dyson Swarm going. And even though it says it has a generation capacity of 333 megawatts, we are getting 12.5 megawatts, which is nothing. It sucks. It absolutely sucks. So, what I am going to do is I am going to cut off this and just say uh, local storage because we are going to need sails we just don't want to shoot them right now and up here we're going to say uh, local storage as well and we'll we'll let the the rest of the sales that we we have here go. That's fine, but it's it's just a waste of resources uh, shooting all those things up there. So that's one thing. So our Dyson swarm that looks really cool is gonna go away because it's not very useful. But we'll build up the sales, and I actually think let's just build up to max. So that we have them when we start building our actual Dyson Sphere. That's still quite a ways away before we do that. Now, in between episodes, quite a few things have happened. So let's go take a look at those things. And um, let's see what's happened. What has happened? Has anything happened here? Yes, actually one thing, um, if we take a look at where are all our stupid wind turbines, where are all the wind turbines? I don't see them. Where the heck are all the wind turbines. Uh, what the hell? Okay. Um, let me quickly fly a trip around the planet and see if I can find our wind turbines. Oh, here yeah, they are. And they were right next to us. So, over here, instead of using raw hydrogen I have started using the uh, hydrogen fuel rods because they are much more efficient than just raw hydrogen and so we are storing up the hydrogen fuel rods here uh, we are also storing up some hydrogen well we're demanding hydrogen from another place where we're producing it because it was uh, backlogged and then we have a supply of uh, hydrogen fuel rods and we actually need a few. So let's just grab like 150 or something. So that's all good. And the hydrogen here is still building up. It's still building up. So we can build even more of these and have more uh, fuel rods going or more um, of our power stations going. Though, they're only generating 2.16, so it might be more interesting to build some, where are they, mini fusion power stations and use deuterium fuel rods instead, because those are much, much better, much, much better. But they're also much more expensive to make 
So that's something that we'll come back to, maybe. Now, let's take a trip to... Where's the sun? Over there. Um, let's take a trip to... Iota Buddhist 4. So we want to go there. Speed up. There we go. And I will be back when we're about there. Uh, I changed my mind. Let's go to Iota Buddhist 1 first, the lava planet. Wow, that was a nice landing. Now, over here, uh, I don't remember if I've shown you this. There was one episode that, for some reason, YouTube just did not like it. Uh, and I, even when I re-encoded it and everything, it just didn't like it. So, And that was the first time we went to the lava planet. So let's just take a quick peek around the lava planet and see what we have going here. So we have some steel production. We have some iron production. We have some copper production. And that's about it. That's about it. Uh, but we also have these guys set up here. Uh, and they're generating 12.5 megawatts as well. So, yeah. Even though it looks cool with, with the Dyson Swarm, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. And we also have, if we take a look, we have a full ring of solar panels around, so I think we can do without. Uh, let's see, our power generation capacity is 79 megawatts going down. And that's just because of the planet rotation, and we are only consuming like five. That's also because we are not uh, sending anything anywhere at the moment. But we will be, don't you worry. But let's take another little space trip. Uh, where's the sun? It's there. We want to go to Iota Buddhist 1. So that's over this way. Uh, or Iota Buddhist 4, sorry. So let's head here. The reason I stopped at the lava planet on the, well, on the way was because it was on the way. So let's head over here. I'll be back when we're there. Okay, we have arrived at uh, the ice planet, and if we just take off, then over here I have set up quite a bit of uh, high period silicon smelting. Two lines of 30, so 60 smelters, uh, making uh, high period silicon. We still have just the same setups as we did of titanium and uh, fire ice. It's okay for now. We don't use that much titanium actually, but I think we're gonna very soon. But I also set up over here, because over here we have another sil silicon mine. And I haven't turned it on yet, because I wanted to do that together with you guys. Uh, but this will be making high period silicon on these 30 smelters. And then on these 30 smelters, it will be making um, crystal silicon. Which we need for uh, the information matrix. We need it for the uh, particle broadband. The carbon nanotube we can already make. We are already making, I believe. I'm not entirely sure on that. And then plastic. So we need to make the particle broadband so we can get the information matrix and get that going. 
so let's find our power. It's down here. And let's get set up. And here on this planet, we also have a full belt of uh, solar panels. So here we go. Silicon is coming in. It's not quite a full belt. I think I'll put another miner in here in that case. Uh, well, you can, uh, it's not going... Something's wrong. Now they're going. So let's see. Uh oh. Uh, no, this is actually fine. I think I think I messed this up. Uh, this is that. did mess this up. So that goes in there. And then this comes out and goes over here. So there. Now these will start going. And the silicon is by no stretch of the imagination reaching all the way. Ah, almost, almost. Let's just make sure that we have a full belt. Do we have any miners? We do. So it'll only get three, but it's better than nothing. There. That means that we always have a completely full belt. Almost always. Okay, I actually need another one. How many? Yeah. Let's just dismantle this. This will get three as well, I think. Can we get it to get four? No. All right, three it is. Better. It's a completely full belt. And how far is silicon making it? Not quite all the way. Uh, sometimes. Alright, it's fine. These are going, except you, you don't have power. Let's just fix that. Okay, and if any uh, high period silicon makes it past the other ones, the uh, silicon crystals, then it'll be put in here and be a supply as well. Why do we only have 43 of those in storage? Because this is going the wrong way. Uh, 
So, what we'll do is just fix that. Uh, this one can go away. No, 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 no. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much better. I like it. Let's just stick those in there. Okay. So, high pure silicon and silicon crystals are going full tilt. And we are producing more than enough power. So, that is awesome. Okay. Let's just fill up on some fuel. And we'll head back to our home planet. If I can find the sun. Where is the sun? Should be here somewhere. There's the sun. And we have Iota Buddhist three here. All right. So uh, I'll be back once we're home. By the way, look at this. This is so cool. We can actually, if we get close enough to the solar sails here, let's just get really close. We can actually see them quite nicely. Isn't it cool? I love it. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, let's get home. Okay, we are back home. Well, these guys have no fuel. Because this is backed up. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at research real quick and see if there's anything we can research. I don't think there is. Uh, no. 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 Upgrades. No. That requires that we research the other thing. No, research speed, no. No, no. Yes, actually. Let's research that then. And queue that up as well. And queue that up. That one we can't do. Alright. So we're researching. Quite rapidly. Okay, that's cool. That's as far as we go there. That's as far as we go there. Okay. So, what about universe exploration? We need the information matrixes as well. Okay. Fine. So, let's see. Where is... It's over here somewhere. It's down here. Oops. So, I did actually prepare to start making uh, carbon nanotubes. We're not making them yet, but I did set it up so that we can. So, what we need is um, titanium. Let's just take a look here. We need titanium and graphene. So, we can actually say uh, remote demand and just take this up to like 3,000. It's 
so we have local and remote demand. We need to, this is local supply and remote supply, all good. Our uh, graphene comes from right here, so that's no problem. And here I have set up an hydrogen output for local supply. So all we need to do is power all of this up and we will be making our uh, carbon nanotubes. So let's do that. Dink. And off go carbon nanotubes. We have the first ones already. Now, carbon nanotubes we only produce 15 a minute per one of these, so I set up 20. So that's 300 per minute that we're producing. Which seems reasonable to me. So we have our carbon nanotubes coming in. What else did we need? So then we need the particle broadband, which is carbon nanotubes, crystal silicon, and plastic. Now, plastic we are making, but it's not very good. Uh, so, I mean, we're making plastic here, but that's for uh, these bad boys, the uh, kind of crystals. So that's not useful. Then... Now these will start getting a bit of fuel again. That doesn't really matter that much. I think we're okay for power at the moment, actually. Yeah, we're okay. Even though we're researching right now, we're actually okay for power. So that's pretty good. All right, vertical construction done. Now, I need to make another plastic setup and plastic takes, uh, plastic takes uh, refined oil and uh, graphite. Now what we could actually do is stick a tower in here and just split this plastic production, but I think we want more plastic production than that. So what I'm thinking is we, we have some untapped uh, veins. We have two of them. And they're actually quite good veins. Where the heck are they? No, nope, that's not untapped. Well, it is untapped, but... Uh, there's a thing on it. We have two that are not... Uh, that, that don't have a, a building on them. Somewhere. Where the heck are they? Here they are. All right there. So I'm thinking we set up plastic around here. Yeah, let's do that. So we need to come this way. Now we need some of these oil extractors. We can make two, that's perfect. 
So where are those crude oil seeps there? So we'll just pave over a bit of this and then we're all good. So um, gathering, oil extractor. And what I actually want to do is set up uh, transportation. A tower. Need to leave a bit of room for it. Set up the tower there. And do we have any... No. And I can only make one. What do I need? I need some bricks. And some iron plate, I think. Uh, let's just grab that real quick. What are you making? That. Uh, that's power. Uh, that's graphite. Okay. It's a problem that you can't find your sh stuff around here. Oh, uh, did I show you that I built this up so that it's now a 3 to 2 ratio and we're producing a lot more processors than we were before? Okay. Now we're back here. Okay. That's power. Alright, I'll uh, grab all the stuff that we need and then I'll be back. Okay, let's move on. I got all the stuff that we need, I think. So we want some storage. And I want to store up crude oil. Right here. As high as I can. And I'll do two of them. So, you come out here. Ah, crap, I forgot to get built. You come in there. Okay, so this is going to have crude oil, and it's local and remote supply, that's fine, you need some of these, you need some of these, and you'll actually also have, oh, Then it'll be local demand and road supply. Hmm, that kind of sucks. That means that we need to do pretty much everything that we want to do with oil here. Or... Make this local supply, and then we'll make this local demand. And remote demand. I will make it remote storage for now. And do the same there. I don't have enough belt for this, do I? Nope. All right. Our mall is over here. So let's grab some felt. Let's grab a thousand or something. 
Okay. Now the reason I want to do this is because I actually want to gather up all of the oil in supply towers. Didn't have enough of those, but never mind. I'll fix that in between the episodes or something. So, local supply, local demand, okay. Right, let's power these things up. We need some power there. We need some power here. We need some power here, and we need some power here. Okay. So it's coming in, but it's not very fast. It's not very fast. So I think I want to change our entire oil production uh, setup because it's just not fast enough. And we have it spread out over so many different places around the world and it's not it's just not very efficient. It's just not very efficient. So here we have one setup that isn't going anywhere. Uh, this one is doing this tiny little setup, which is basically just for power. Uh, it was for plastic, but what the hell, right? So what I think I want to do I want to say refined oil, local demand, remote storage, all right, some more verticality, which means we can get even more up there. That is insane. Okay, and we need to pave all of this, I think. Because this will be our oil production zone. Need some foundations. So we have a bit of space here for oil production. What are you making? Oh, you're making this stuff. That's okay. That's okay. Ooh, by the way, uh, we got an upgrade thing. So if we... Take a look at something that is on a bit slower belts, like this for instance. You can see here that this is Mark II belts. You get down real close, it's not moving super duper fast. Uh, or is it Mark II belts? Uh, yeah, it is conveyor belt Mark II. So if we say upgrade, then we can upgrade just one of them by just clicking or we can shift click and it'll upgrade all of them isn't that nice i think that is amazing that is going to make life so much easier moving forward but yeah uh, where is it it's over here 
So that's what we're going to do, but we're going to have to do it in the next one because we are out of time. So we're going to set up a bunch of oil production here. There are some coal veins, veins that are a little bit in the way there, but we can actually utilize them, maybe. We'll see. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.